Hello, in this screencast, we'll take a detailed look at clustered columns uh, type of graph. Let's say you have this data set here, Widget Sync, and you have a bunch of data about sales in the various different regions and across different years. And I also have done some totals here by region and by year. And let's say we want to start, create a simple um, clustered column graph for this data. First, you select the data set insert a column i just choose a plain 2d column and that's your simple graph right there but you can see that it's got some unnecessary data um, that probably doesn't belong in this graph for example it has totals by year and it also has um, totals by region so how do we remove this data okay so let's uh, first select this graph just make sure that it's highlighted when you do then you will see a design tab here with all this information now click on select data when you click this button you'll see a pop-up box appear here and what you can do here is uh, if you see a column here that doesn't belong for example totals by year you can just select it and click remove now then totals by year goes away and you just have the north, south, east, and west represented in your graph. And you can see that your graph is slightly changed to reflect that. Supposing you want to remove totals by region. What you can do is first switch row and column. And now you have totals by region as one of the rows. And you can just click remove to take that out. And now you just have the different years. And if you want, you can get back to your original configuration so that uh, you have um let's say each column be a year and uh, uh, within each column the height represents the total sales and within each year you have uh, four different sub columns each for a different region and if you want you can interchange this so that uh, you have instead of 2009 2010 you have north south east and west appear here so this will be north south east and west and instead of the years appearing here, you can have each of these columns be a year. To do that, again, select the graph, make that active. Um, click on switch row and column. So as soon as you do it, your rows and columns are interchanged. So that's a quick and simple way to create a simple bar chart with uh, clustered columns. What if you wanted to have a slightly different style instead of clustered columns? Maybe you want to have uh, all the columns stacked up one on top of another. It's simple to do that. Just click on change chart type and then you will be presented with all the different options and you can just select a stacked column. Click OK and that will result in this kind of a stacked column. And now you can actually see what's the total sales in each year. So you can see that uh, or in this case in each zone you can see that East has the highest sales and within each sales uh, within each zone you have the sales broken up by the year or you can switch rows and columns and now you have the total sales by each year and for each column you have it broken down by sales by region so that's how you can change the chart type on the fly another neat thing you can do is to um, create spark lines okay so let me just uh, actually delete this for now and what you can do is create spark lines and let's say uh, I'll just show you what I mean by that so let's just create a new column called trends and uh, uh, let's say you want to create a trend for each of these columns okay so one way to do that is to click on this cell h3 here and go on to insert And in this, uh, in the in the spark lines box here, just click on line, and it asks for a data range. So you can just click on this data range right here. Click OK, and location range would be this one right here. And you click OK, and you will see a line here that represents a trend for all these four data points. Now, if you are Obviously, you don't want to just draw a line, a graph for just this one row. You want to do it for the entire region. And to do that, what you do is uh, 
let me just uh, edit this here um, you can edit the data and instead of saying data range is just c3 through f3 i can make the data range be this entire region and instead of saying the location is just this h3 you can see the location is all four cells here and you click ok and now you have four different lines each of these lines represents the trend of sales in this region right here so that's a spark line you can make the spark line a little bit uh, more informative by changing its format a little bit so you can go to uh, design just select the spark lines all of them and then click design and you can say you want to highlight the high point if you do that whichever is the highest point in this graph will be highlighted for somebody that's looking at it uh, it'll be easy to see in which year the highest sales happen and you can change the style of your spark lines to something more appealing say something like this for example if you want you can uh, also change um, you know put a color to the markers if you do this then you'll have markers for each of the different points and so on so these are all some neat ways in which you can display data so that's all for now i hope you enjoyed this uh, thanks for watching